Well, this is Seymour Rocks reporting from Down Under. Um, everyone will probably know it by now, but these are the scenes that have been going around the world. Uh, I've seen it in lots of places, but to this, to my knowledge, uh, nothing in the New Zealand media. And of course, if they did mention it, they'd be right. They'd be uh, whitewashing it and saying, uh, uh, you know, she deserved what she got uh, because she was breaking the rules. And the strange thing is that I come out of the left. We were all anti-establishment, anti-war, um, anti the spy agencies. And now there's been a complete flip and uh, you've got the likes of Sky News in Australia critiquing this action uh, and bringing quite sort of, you know, reasonably, you know, sort of factual things to the table, whereas it's the left who are turning around and uh, applauding, uh, you know, police tactics and uh, they just want everyone to follow the rules. And of course, uh, <laughs> I dare say, if it was um, if it was the uh, federal government doing this, or any Tory government, um, they would be down on this uh, like a ton of bricks. But like the vile uh, hip hypocrites that they are, uh, they're silent, or even worse, they're cheering it on. And I dare say, when the push comes to shove. Uh, some of the same people uh, will become stool pigeons. Yeah, she's pregnant, so... Well, take it easy. What's this about? Do I have an ultrasound Just let me in an hour? Let me finish and I'll explain it. In relation to a Facebook post, in relation to a lockdown protest you put on for Saturday. Yeah, and I wasn't breaking any laws by doing that. You are, that. actually. You are breaking all. That's why I'm arresting you. So let's just see what uh, major crimes uh, Zoe is uh, accused of. Hey? This is just a few months ago, June, uh, when thousands um, came out to uh, protest the Black Lives Matter and uh, I don't see that there was any mass arrests or any arrests at all. It seems that they were given a, um, a slap over the wrist. He seems to me to be one of the most reasonable people around. Um, just judge from this recording. For you know, it might be a bit of an eye opener of the human rights and stuff that I'm trying to stand for, um, and people re realizing just how out of control things are getting. Like, I'm not a criminal person, and that was very extreme. Like, if the police had have just called me and told me to remove the post, I would have done so. Um, I didn't realize I was doing something wrong, and I just thought it was very extreme under the circumstances and my children to be exposed to well, Of like course, um, as per usual, as far as I can see, this hasn't even been recorded, uh, reported in the New Zealand media at all. And then the state-run ABC um, is just bland. Uh, it's controversial. So let's just have a listen. Well, Victoria Police have defended the arrest of a pregnant woman in regional Victoria yesterday over a Facebook post she made promoting an anti-lockdown rally, video of the 28-year-old being handcuffed in her home in front of her children has caused heated debate about the enforcement of lockdown rules. Police say the officers involved in the arrest behaved appropriately and reasonably and they're warning of further arrests if the protest goes ahead. But Listen to what uh, Dictator Dan Dan Andrews has to say. Uh, I don't know what, I'm not sure any of us know uh, what uh, she was attempting to incite, uh, allegedly. Uh, what I can say, though, is Victoria Police will be out. Oh. Yeah, I was just reminded uh, of this uh, when I was lying in bed. Um, Ten years ago now, we had the Arab Spring and um, hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people came out to uh, demand the uh, ouster of Hosni Mubarak 
And the amazing thing was that the media was all over the fact that uh, these demonstrations uh, were being organized on uh, social media, on Twitter and Facebook. And uh, the amazing thing was that they managed to um, bring down a dictator. But 10 years later, if someone just tries to uh, organize a simple uh, protest, a respectful protest, uh, they get the cops knocking at the door and uh, they're taken away in handcuffs. I'm sure um, that a few months ago with the Australian fires, I might have been on the other side of the barricades from Sky News. Uh, but I've been quite impressed um, with the way they've been reporting this, uh, these lockdowns in um, in Victoria, and I wish we had media like this in New Zealand. ...are accepting what they're getting from many of their state governments at the moment when it comes to coronavirus restrictions. Just imagine for a moment if John Howard or Tony Abbott were doing this. Imagine if Jeff Kennett had tried to lock his whole state down. They'd never have done it, of course, but if they'd tried... People would have revolted. The unions, the media, the human rights bodies would have been outraged and mobilised. Now they're all complicit. We have never had so many laws, rules, restrictions and inconveniences placed upon us in peacetime, yet people meekly accept it because they're encouraged to be scared of the zombie virus. Uh, this morning in my... Uh search for material on this, I found this on uh, on Twitter. Uh, people in Melbourne are speculating that the, uh, the policeman who um, tried to strangle a girl in a protest is the same policeman who uh, arrested uh, Zoe, uh, even though uh, Ballarat is I think about a hundred kilometers from uh, from Melbourne. Anyway, uh, there does seem to be a bit of a resemblance. Well, and in the meantime, it's not doesn't look as though anything's going away. Uh, it looks from this these tweets as though there's been an extension of the lockdown, uh, not the opposite way around. So I've been pretty upset by this and I think it has brought a few uh, truths home to uh, uh, to people. Uh, the media might uh, want to uh, portray it as an overreach um, or a bad optics. Uh, and of course the New Zealand media just want to keep it quiet. They don't want people to, to know that this has happened at all. Uh, it's none of those things. It's just pure fascism. And Dan Andrews has built up a police state. Um, and I can't say it any better than, uh, than Max Egan, so I will defer to him and I will provide a link for his latest video, which I'm... I haven't watched it yet, but I'm sure he's talking about this latest episode. Anyway, I'll put a link in the description box below. But it's looking pretty, pretty ominous. Uh, it looks as though the uh, dictatorial new world order is here in both Australia as a whole, Victoria in particular, and also... Uh, in New Zealand and I just wonder whether when these sort of tactics are going to come to this country see more rocks from reporting from down under.